What's up guys? I am Chitanshu from Dream Abroad and in this video we're going to talk about money. Yes, we're going to talk about proof of funds if you want to apply for the Canadian PR. Canada has updated the amount. So we'll talk about that. We also will talk about the skyrocketing Canadian dollar. If you live in India, it's now equal to 60 rupees. One Canadian dollar is equal to 60 Indian rupees and one Canadian dollar is equal to 128 Pakistani rupee. So it's skyrocketing. How does it actually affect you? And what are those points where you need to take care? We will talk about this in this video. So if you're interested, stay tuned. So guys, this week, Canada has updated the amount for proof of funds. They've increased it marginally. So it's not a reason uh, to worry, but you need to take care of few points. Basically, what proof of funds is, it is the amount of money that you should have in your account. You have to prove that you have that much of money in your account. And that money is somewhat equivalent to what an average person would spend in its first six months here in Canada. So the government wants to make sure that any new permanent resident coming into Canada has enough money that they can take care of themselves and their family at least for the first six months. And of course, in the first six months, you'll be able to find a job and uh, you'll get more money. So this is what is proof of funds is all about. So what is the amount that is now required for proof of funds? If you're single, then 13,213 Canadian dollars. If you are a couple or maybe you and one more person, then 16,449. If you are a family of three people, then 20,222 and onwards. Now mind it there, they have specifically mentioned that you should include your spouse and children, even if they are a permanent resident already, or maybe they're not coming with you, even then you should include them. And then only you should see the table to check out how much money would you actually need in your account to show your proof of funds. Okay, now a couple of important points. First of all, the proof of funds are only required for the candidates from FSW program or the FSTC program, which is Federal Skilled Workers Program or Federal Skilled Trade Class Program. So if you're a CEC candidate, then you don't need to show that amount. So if you're already working here in Canada, or maybe you have one year of experience and you have applied under the Canadian Experience Class category, then you won't need to show this proof of funds. And as you know that in the last couple of months, only CEC and PNP draws were conducted. So PNP is mostly a part of uh, the FSW program. So all those CEC candidates don't need to worry about this uh, update, but all those people who might have got the ITA in the uh, last couple of months and they haven't submitted their application, you need to update your uh, profile, express entry profile before 15th of July. And all of those people as well, who think that uh, they would be getting their ITA in the next couple of months, you should update your express entry profile before 15th of July. Otherwise, you might become ineligible depending on uh, what amount did you choose uh, for proof of funds when you actually created your express entry profile. So it's very important guys that you should update your express entry profile just in case the, that the amount uh, that you have in your account uh, to show as proof of funds was less than what it is now in that table. You should update it immediately, at least before 15th of July so that your uh, express entry profile does not become ineligible and you don't have to create the express entry profile once again. And don't worry, they have clearly mentioned it that updating your profile for proof of funds won't update the date and time when they actually received your profile. So you won't lose your spot, your rank in uh, the express entry system in case you find yourself in the tiebreaker situation in the near future. So guys, it's very important. Do update your express entry profile or your profile could become ineligible. At least do check it out. If you have updated it correctly, then it's totally fine. If not, then make sure that it should be above the minimum threshold that is now mentioned in the uh, proof of funds table. I'll also provide a link in the description box below so that you can check it out. Okay, now all of those people who have already submitted your application, maybe received your AOR or in a different stage after submitting your application, you didn't need to worry at all. There's no need to worry because your proof of funds would be required as per the time when you submitted your application. So this update won't be applicable for you. Okay, I know that you would have all sorts of questions about proof of funds that what if we don't have that amount? 
how can you actually take it from your parents how can you uh, actually approve about your fixed deposit or a provident fund i have already discussed those uh, questions in the previous videos i'll provide the link in the description box below you can check it out okay now talking about the very crucial point that i wanted to talk about since a long time actually a couple of months about the skyrocketing canadian dollar value so back in 2017 when i came to canada or rather i submitted my application the canadian dollar was equivalent to around 50 indian rupees or even less than that but now since last couple of months it is always around 60 rupees every time and there are predictions that it would be increasing in the near future it might go up to 65 in the next few months itself and also all of those who are there in Pakistan in March 2020 the value of Canadian dollar was around 110 Pakistani rupees but now it's around 130 Pakistani rupees so the value of uh, Canadian dollar has become very strong and it is a problem definitely for all of those people who are there in India and they want to immigrate to Canada as a permanent resident because now they would be spending even more money uh, in the process and also they need to prove that they have more money in their account uh, because of these updates in the proof of funds and also the higher value of the uh, Canadian dollar. So when I immigrated to Canada as a permanent resident in 2017 as a single person the amount required for proof of funds was also lesser and and as I told you the exchange rate for one Canadian dollar was less than 50 Indian rupees which means that I just had to prove that I had around 6 lakh rupees in my account but now with the current scenario with the increased exchange rate and also the higher proof of funds that is required now you would need to prove that you have around 8 lakh rupees which is an increase of 2 lakh rupees decent amount of increase and obviously apart from that if you have if you're a family of two people then you need to prove that uh, you have around 10 lakh rupees and and if you're a family of three people then you need to prove that you have more than 12 lakh rupees now the financial predictions are that the canadian dollar would get even more stronger so i would suggest that you should have more money in your account at least you should plan that way you should multiply the current amount of the proof of funds uh, with something around let's say 62 or 63 or maybe 65 if you can so that you play safe uh, you're totally fine for the next uh, couple of months or maybe next one year even if the exchange rate goes even higher you are totally fine at least you should plan it that way and also you should plan for all the expenses that you have to do in the immigration process and after that after immigrating to Canada as well so that's it guys that's it for this video uh, if you like the video if you like the content if you think it was helpful please click the thumbs up button if you have any questions any queries please put it down in the comment section below i'll try my best to help you out and also if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet guys subscribing is very important it's free of cost just go and click that subscribe button thanks a lot for watching this video